Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is stock market still bearish or it's already in a bearish trend it's, or it's a bearish signal. Let's do technical analysis review and we will figure out what's going on with the stock market world. As usually, let's start from 5 rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for VBOL. Vibull, let's start from Vibull. Uh, index chart. Uh, looks like the all indexes they start with gap out, with gap down. Overnight they started negative from the gap down. And they recovered from the gap down, even filled the gap from yesterday. They were very positive, filled the gap and did return. And it did sell off. And now at the end of the hours, as usually buyers, they buy every single dip. They buy every single dip. Okay, now let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. If you want to learn more about Vibol setup, just go to the description. There is the link about Vibol setup training and other links about all my trainings. Now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages white line MA200, purple line MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. Below MACD indicator lines are the indicator lines, also oscillator bars. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involve. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, you see green line, MA5 did bearish crossover over red line. For me, this bearish crossover is an entry point for short trend. And below, you see SMA5 did bullish crossover over red line. For me, it was entry point for bullish trend. Now, what we observe today, negative bar. It started some reversal. We'll see. Will it confirm? Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow we will touch 200 and will bounce from it because SMA 20 uptrend. It is positive. We'll see. We'll see. It does some correction because it was in a bullish trend for a long time since this point, for this level, right? Since March 10. It, 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 it needs some correction almost one month in a bullish right. Qs, let's start Qs, Nasdaq 100, Nasdaq index, right? Last bar below, SMA5 did bearish crossover over 10, last bar below 20, it's a bearish trend, bearish trend on all indicators. Now for our time frame, same story, SMA, MA5, 10 and bars below 20, it is bearish trend on all indicators. And one hour time frame for Qs. You see, it did gap down yesterday, and today it recovered. It yeah, almost closed. Still left five cents. Five cents. It's nothing for four hundred fifty dollars stock. It's nothing, right? Just yeah, it filled the gap and it did reversal back. It touched. It touched six hours ago with. Uh, MA50 and it, it was rejected from MA50. Still wants to go bearish. VXN volatility index for Qs. Yeah, still also bearish, still negative. No fear on the market at all. It did bullish crossover, but still lost bar below 200. Still in a positive mode. But still no fear on the market, still extreme greed. SPX, S&P 500. SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10. Last bar below SMA 5 and 10, but still about 20. Bearish reversal signal, but still last, last bar still uh, above SMA 20 level. And it still has gap above, it can bounce to fill this gap. And will reverse. Still bearish divergences on all charts, on all indicators. Four hours time frame. 
MA5 and 10 bars did bearish crossover over 20 bearish reversal trend on all indicators. One hour time frame. Last bar below all moving averages, bearish trend. Not all, just below M, below all except 100 and 200. It did fill partially the gap, the gap and it did reversal. It did reversal, right? VIX volatility index. Volatility index, uh, let's see daily. Did nice bullish crossover. It was kind of rejected today. Still negative, still yeah, red day. No fear on the market at all. Still extreme greed. Dow Jones flat price action today. Last bar below MA20. MA5 did bearish crossover. Bearish trend still on all indicators. Bearish divergences. 4 hours time frame same bearish reversal trend and it left gap down all indicators still been a bearish trend 1 hour time frame last bar below all moving averages bearish trend bearish trend on all indicators It's da it dancing around MA, MA200. MA200 strong support. It definitely can bounce from MA200. We will see in the next few days. Uh, VXD volatility index. No fear, like I said. No fear on the VXD volatility index for Dow Jones. Still in the bearish territory. Uh, Russell 2000. IWM. Daily. Last bar moved below MA5, 10 and 20. This bearish reversal trend, bearish divergences on all indicators. It's left gap down above, but signal bearish. 4 hours time frame, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Bearish trend on all indicators. 1 hour time frame. One hour time frame, MA5, 10, did bearish crossover, it touched MA200, kind of partially bounced, partially filled the gap, and they touched, it touched MA20 yellow line, and it was kind of a rejection from MA20, it wants to go bearish still. Apple. Apple daily. MA5 10 below 20 bearish trend with bullish divergences. 4 hours time frame. Last bar below all moving averages bearish trend bullish divergences on all indicators. 1 hour time frame. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and, and 20 bullish trend on 1 hour. Time frame for Apple. Tesla. Tesla daily. Last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend, bearish territory. Bullish divergences on RSI. It wants to have bounce like, like Google, but still bearish and bearish territory. Four hours time frame, same story. Last bar below all moving averages. Bearish trend. Bullish divergences on all indicators. Remember, divergences is, is not divergences are not a signal. Divergences are a condition of the market. One hour time frame. MA5 did bullish crossover over 10. It is positive, but still below 20 bearish territory. Nvidia. Nvidia MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20, last bar below 20. It is bearish trend on all indicators for Nvidia on daily time frame. Nvidia has no power anymore. Nvidia 4 hours time frame, same story. MA5 and 10 and bars below 20, bearish, bearish territory, bearish trend. It did touch MA50, 
let's see a few days maybe it will bounce from may 50 like it did over here uh, in the february 21 or it will continue bearish trend it didn't cross ma50 for a long time last time it did uh, january yeah january beginning of the year since that time it was only bullish four hours time frame bearish crossover and on all indicators one hour time frame same bearish crossover sideways bearish microsoft microsoft daily MA5 yet bearish crossover over 10 bearish trend but last bar touched MA20 it can bounce from MA20 but so far a bearish reversal signal not confirmed because last bar still above MA20 bearish signal 4 hours time frame MA5 10 and bars below 20 bearish crossover bearish trend all indicators bearish one hour time frame it's a sideways in bearish territory is below 20 it's kind of sideways below all moving averages except 200 amazon amazon is positive right let's see let's see daily last bar above all moving averages still bullish trend but bearish divergences on all indicators. Four hours time frame. Same story. Last bar above all moving averages. Bullish trend. Bearish divergences on all indicators. And one hour time frame. Still last bar still above all moving averages. Still bullish trend. Bearish divergences on all indicators. But trend is still bullish. Google. Google daily last bar above all moving averages bullish trend on all indicators. Four hours time frame last bar above all moving averages still bullish trend. And one hour time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend. For Google. Meta. Meta daily last bar above all moving averages it could be bull trap because all indicators they have bearish divergences but price action is positive bullish let's see for next two days if it if it's going to continue bullish trend could be positive bullish but so far it could be bull trap four hours time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish territory bullish crossover bullish trend on all indicators one hour time frame last bar above all moving averages bullish trend on all indicators that's all yeah bullish trend on all indicators right now let's do summary usa dollar still positive maybe it will start bearish reversal so far all indicators all equity is still in bearish reversal trend they did bearish crossover still bearish on all indicators uh, some of them like uh, amazon still positive bullish with bearish divergences but still bearish generally bearish trend for all indexes and all indicators be careful be careful if you if you long just follow the market trend don't fight with the market trend market is bearish reversal signal let's move to disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading simulator Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes and cryptos. 
please subscribe this YouTube channel, click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all, the, all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.